where sugar levels are at all time highs and people are no longer exercising like they used to. One man is willing to hit the streets and inform the public about this increasing problem known as diabetes and the effects that it has on your feet. He is Podiatry Detroit. I am the Podiatry Police. I cruise the streets and I make sure people are aware of the issues affecting them and their feet. One of the most important things we can do is prevent amputations in the, the diabetic population by making sure they treat themselves appropriately, they uh, exercise, they look at their feet, and they come see the podiatrist. Diabetes affects 23.6 million Americans. That's 7.8% of the U.S. population. Many of these people, about 6 million of them, are undiagnosed. Last year alone, in 2007, 1.8 million people were diagnosed for the first time. So what I like to do is hit the street, talk to people, and see what they know about diabetes. It's important to educate the public so they know what's going on and how they can prevent it and how they can treat it. Let's head up to Universal Studios City Walk and find out what people know, teach them a couple of things about diabetes. What is diabetes? Diabetes is a disease of the kidney. Okay. Can you tell us what you you know about diabetes? Um, it's like uh, yeah, diabetes. So uh, that's people uh, who need to uh, inject. What are they injecting in there? Uh, insulin. You know how you get it or what it does to you? You get it in clogged up arteries, kidneys are clogged all up, and they. They say the kidneys break down. Veronica, do you know what is diabetes? Yeah. What is it? I believe I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have a lot of sugar in your blood. I believe. Okay. And why is that bad? Are you just a sweet person? I don't know. Why is it bad? <laughs> Podiatry Patrol here. We just ran into two doctors from Denmark, and we're going to ask them today about diabetes as well. Sir, could you explain today what diabetes is and who gets it? Diabetes is a disease concerned with the uh, and the, the how how uh, how, uh, how how So your grandfather has diabetes. What do you know about diabetes? He's old. He's old. Yeah. What do you know? What is diabetes? What is diabetes? I have no idea. For all I know, it could be like AIDS or it could be like the flu. Or I <laughs> <laughs> Do you know if it affects your feet at all? No. Do you, do you have smelly feet? No. no. Do you want to smell? <laughs> no, I don't. That's okay. <laughs> do you know how it affects your feet? Nope. No. No, I don't know. Okay. How does diabetes affect the feet and the legs? Uh, and do you know if uh, diabetes can affect your feet at all? Yes. It can feel it's been swell up. Swell up? Yeah. Anything uh, with ulcers or amputations that you know about? I can't pin my finger to it now. Okay. Do you know if it affects your feet and your legs at all? No, <laughs> no idea. Okay. <laughs> Diabetes is a condition in which the body cannot utilize the sugars that you eat and digest in, from your food. So this causes a condition in the blood where all the sugar is still in the blood called hyperglycemia. And this can have devastating effects on the body such as blindness, advanced atherosclerosis and cardiovascular problems, kidney damage, peripheral neuropathy, and necessity for amputation. What do you guys know about diabetes and how do you get diabetes? I, I think you get diabetes from too much sugar. Too much sugar? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a killer. I just think it's um, on poor diet. Poor diet? So, so you guys uh, make a living selling sugar to people. Um, do you ever see people you might think possibly have diabetes or should be eating a lot of the sugar that they're purchasing? So half the people yeah. here. A lot, a lot of people come in and have diabetes. And we have a, 
a really small sugar-free section, but that's that's for mm -hmm. our diabetes. Okay. Okay. Do your guys' feet smell at all? No. The good news is diabetics can lower the chances of having these consequences of the condition. If they maintain healthy blood glucose levels, low sugar levels, normal blood pressure levels, and cholesterol levels. So a lot of people think I'm nuts because I just drive around the street looking at people's feet, you know. A lot of these people here are wearing sandals and flip-flops. I have easy access to the digits. I can see what's going on down there. But what people don't understand is that a lot of these people are at risk and don't even know it. So. Let's uh, take a little drive here and see if we see anybody that could use our help. Podiatry Patrol on the drive. So we're on a little neighborhood patrol here, scoping out the area, and I see a gentleman of concern to the podiatric community. He's barefoot over here, going to the bathroom eating and drinking all at the same time. Seems like the clinical manifestations of diabetes all at once. I think we might need to check it out. He's getting in his car. Let's go take a look. Is there a problem, officer? Insurance card and referral. Referral? What is this? Who are you? DPM, officer of the law. Saving lives one foot at a time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Foot soldier, huh? I don't like your attitude, boy. Out of the car. Let's go. Feet behind your back. Huh? Feet in there. Put your toes up and spread them. What is this? You have a, you have a black toe. Did you know that? Oh no, 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 man. I just, I, I just, uh, I stepped in my uh, neighbor's driveway when he was uh, tarring it. Yeah, it's just tarred. What is this? What what is it? I can't you see have a pebble my toes. between your toes. I can't see my toes. You feel this? No. I'm gonna touch your foot. You tell me if you can feel this. Did you start it? Are you touching my foot now? I Do you feel that? Feel what I feel what? Diabetic neuropathy. It's the first sign. He's losing a sensation. I feel cold. I feel cold. I have to book him. Take him a minute for further evaluation. I know sometimes. Oh. Diabetic care is not complete without the care of podiatrists who specialize in treatment of foot and ankle conditions. It's important to recognize problems before they escalate to something major. An early detection of ulcerations can lessen the chance of needing an amputation by up to 85%. This is important especially in diabetic patients. Without proper sensation, diabetics have 15 to 46 increased chance of needing an amputation at some point in their life. You know, I, in a way, officer, I'm kind of glad that this happened. You know, my grandfather suffered from diabetes for many years, and it was, it was no picnic. No scrumptious, yummy, salty, sugary picnic. But we caught it early, didn't we? And we're going to fight through this, and I can avoid amputation and live a long and healthy, diabetes-free life. Yep, that's right, sir. That's what I do. They educate people so they can live long, healthy lives and make the best of it. What are you doing? You, you know what? I can educate you and inform you, but in the end, it's still up to you, the diabetic, because only you can beat your diabetes dead. And knowing is half the battle. Thank you, baby. Yes, I do. How sweet it is to be Nothing!
What do you have? A superior health care? Superior health program that I'm trying to market right now. Oh, yeah? To cure any and all conditions. Do the same program. All right. It's called the superior health program. It cures any and all conditions, sickness and disease, no matter what it is. Think officer of podiatry could help you? Uh, I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs>